Folds now meaningless, ankle chains repaired and useless. Xiaomi and Huawei's principles of ankle chains indeed same. Only through disassembly of this folding screen can we see it. Last year, enough violence with folding screen in landscape mode. Eight folding screens scrapped in batch. Batch dismantled, not comprehensive and in-depth. This year, new models iterated by four veteran players include Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, Vivo X Fold 2, Honor Magic Wear, and Oppo Find N3. This time, we invite Elder of Folding Screen, Samsung's Z Fold 5, and Huawei's Mate X5, also lead, bring together major brands of large fold phones. We thought this time, aside from Ryan's violent testing, there'd be nothing else to anticipate. The result of Xiaomi's official Weibo being bombarded directly in December is that there is no plagiarism of Huawei in the end. We have also witnessed the dismantling of the hinge. Of course, we have dismantled it all. We want to end the screen arms race of various companies. Is it stronger to use Samsung screens or the domestic screens used by Huawei, Honor, and Oppo? All six brand new unopened foldable screens will be unboxed. Fold test disassemble data ranking order. Run once, welcome to watch. First, let's look at the annual folding comparison of 203 years. If you're ready, you can like, comment, subscribe, then take a sip of water. Let's start now. Last year we tested 2 on 10k times, except Xiaomi with bubbles in internal screen film at 120k times. Other players completed test. Final ranking, Oppo. Vivo and Honor have both inflated the number of folds in their promotional campaigns this year. Liu Duogu even live streamed the folding test on the launch event, folding it 100,000 times. This time is too long, so we increased the test frequency to 300,000 times, simulating 8 years of usage. Shouldn't that be enough? Every 50k times, we'll scan the fixed five positions on the screen to get five crease curves. After averaging the data, the ordinate of the lowest point is the depth of the current crease. Connecting the lowest points from each scan forms the curve of the folding screen's crease depth. Guess who has the deepest fold on the six folding screens? Has Xiaomi made any progress? Can Oppo and Vivo maintain their good performance from the previous generation? Let's see the results. First of all, it is regrettable that Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 has followed. Inner screen film has bubbles again. Unexpectedly, Vivo, performed well last year, has same problem as Xiaomi when folding 150,000 times. Folding of both devices is pointless, leads to after-sales competition. The other four players passed the test. As expected, the Z Fold 5 from Samsung has the deepest folding depth, averaging 24 mm. Samsung has consistently used the U-shaped hinge for four generations, but the Fold 5 utilizes a water drop hinge without emphasizing the folding depth, indicating a lack of concern. Domestic folding screen is better. See Honor Magic VR 183 mm, while Huawei Mate X5 is 14 mm. Top performance still Oppo, first in our folding test. After folding 300,000 times, Average depth of Find N3 only 124 mil. Last year, Oppo and Vivo, with the best performance, were relatively heavy. Many may think they won without fighting. This year, Huawei's Honor broke the record, became thinner and lighter than before. Owe also reduced weight. They've all proven a thin and excellent body can be made lighter. Insufficient. Crease is a physical indentation on screen. Can't be solely judged by depth. Also measured width and angle of crease, enabling you to observe from a 3D perspective and determine which crease performs best. More than depth matters. Width quantifies range of indentation. We take angle of curve of fold below horizontal line to represent whether slope of depression is steep or gentle. For Huawei, initial fold is shallow, but unbalanced area is relatively large, so after folding it for 100,000 times. The fold became deeper, but the width became narrower. Then it gradually became wider at the back, and the best performance was surprisingly Samsung. Its fold is not only narrow, but also has a small trend of widening in the follow-up. Why is its fold still very obvious? Because its angle is actually the largest. Folding angle equals small curvature angle of curved screen, slightly curved. Large angle is waterfall screen. Samsung Z Fold 5 places both curves in middle of screen. Folding is influenced by shell angle. 
resulting in dark and blue appearance and increased effect. Obviously, the opposite is that although Oppo and Vivo have wider folds, the depth and angle are smaller, so the folds look more flat. Since folds cannot be avoided, it becomes two choices. Which one do you prefer? Wide but shallow, but prefer this deep but narrow bullet screen. The importance of stress testing is to proactively test for potential issues. We introduced a new phase this year, which involves assessing the risk of being surpassed after the test is finished and examining the individual who selected the Xiaomi device. Can Vivo fix it? Because last time at Huawei Offline, we were recognized. So this time I didn't go in person, and my colleagues said the experience is prestigious, but the problem is big. First, the film Xiaomi gave us lacks anti-reflective coating. Our 8-inch OLED screen is now a commemorative screen with a dust rate of 2. The data from the original factory increased by 7% to 6. The locally made one is worse than Samsung, but Vivo doesn't have this issue, and Vivo's staff can see our crease is due to professional testing. Not sure if it made him nervous, but good service to give us five film sheets. After folding, screen is fine, but hinge has opened and closed 300k times. Will it really not be damaged? Fact proves it will, and direction of change is also varied. If we combine actual feel and force curve measured, we can see some folding screens resistance decreased, and they will pop open with a twist. Resistance of some folding screens increased, but their hoverability became stronger. Some folding screens feel opening and closing, running in becomes smaller, hand feeling unexpectedly becomes smoother. All changes in hand feeling of folding screens hidden in screen structure. After removing the back cover, outer screen and battery, let's pause here to solve a problem that has been bothering us all along. Manufacturers emphasize screen and peak brightness. Who has lowest power consumption and highest screen efficiency? These six folding screens bring together top Samsung screens, allowing us to win, especially exciting competition between frequent guests at press conference, such as financial parties, WeChat, and Nuo. But we have to test it professionally. Let me introduce our testing method to everyone. To test screen power consumption, subtract power B when whole machine power A of screen is lit, from power when displaying black. However, phone screen power consumption includes not only pixel emission, but also power of pixel switch driving chip. Power of pixel switch and driving chip may increase when displaying black. We found that the power consumption of Model B is higher than A. The calculated screen power consumption is a negative perpetual motion machine. Thus, we must control the variables that can be controlled. We choose to unplug the screen and use phone power consumption A minus consumption B without the screen. Only power consumption under brightness. Gradually increase screen brightness, sample 128 times until reaching maximum manual brightness. Screen obtains power consumption curve under different brightness levels. Six phones X128, X2, plus internal screen, over 30 data points need testing. Workload is excessive, but we are more concerned about variables manual testing may bring. So we developed an automated testing tool, ran it several times to confirm stability. Also plotted 12 power consumption curves. Now it seems Oppo and Samsung are similar. Xiaomi's internal screen power consumption is low, but we can't directly compare it due to different screen sizes. To obtain power consumption curve per unit area at same brightness, divide power consumption by screen area of each company. Xiaomi Mix 4 3 is the winner, favored by Huawei but chose Samsung for folding products. It is speculated that the choice is due to its design with no polarized light, increasing transmittance by 60% and reducing power consumption by 52%. Oppo also performs well under high brightness with an efficiency curve of 250 nits, overlapping with Xiaomi. Apart from Xiaomi, Honor and Oppo also exhibit excellent screen performance. For instance, the curved screen with a protrusion serves as a pivotal point for screen switching and dimming. It appears that eye protection leads to higher power consumption. Consequently, Samsung is exceptionally prominent in terms of luminous efficiency. Hence, how should we make a decision based on display effect? Size and proportion of folding screen unique, so resolution must also be considered. Customizing Samsung screen challenging, so Xiaomi, Vivo, Samsung is a 1080p external screen, internal screen PPI is lower, about 360. Domestic screens are custom resolutions. PPI of Honor is 402 and 405 for internal and external screens, both 1080p. 
Huawei and Oppo achieved PPI of 426 for internal and external screens, like cardboard machine. The use of a unified high resolution of 5K means when switching from the internal screen to the external screen, no relayout is needed. This conforms to the core logic that the internal screen equals two external screens arranged side by side. In terms of color reproduction and brightness, no need to worry. We provide professional mode data for various brands. Huawei and two domestic screens surpass Samsung in brightness, highest and far ahead. Oppo's internal screen and Honor's external screen also perform well. This demand for customization is even more necessary. If you look at the screen flash chain indicator SVM, the folding screen of domestic screens is indeed one step ahead. The biggest difference between domestic screens and Samsung screens is the angle and uniformity. This is also a point we need to pay attention to when looking at large screens. In the past, we used to rudely show everyone a brightness decay and color deviation curve. This time, we will still take everyone to take a look at how these two curves can be visualized. Best position to display screen when line of sight is vertical. Here is origin. We fix screen and imitate human line of sight. When we turn screen left, it becomes darker. Same for turning right. We record brightness changes to obtain brightness attenuation curve. So who has best brightness maintenance curve for viewing internal screen? Vivo and Honor fall in most, but also special player, Huawei. When its screen slightly soft, it not only does not darken, but also brightens. Last time I received such tuned screen was on Honor's Magic Vs, but unfortunately VR did not. Besides darkening, the screen seen from the side may also have color inaccuracies like blue or yellow tint. By recording the color changes, we can get the color offset curve. Huawei has well controlled the color deviation, even at a 60 degree viewing angle. The GNC value of the inner screen can still be controlled within two, opening up a large gap. However, the outer screen did not maintain this advantage. The best outer screen is from Oppo's Find N3. Within 30 degrees, its brightness and color accuracy are the best. Color deviation exists in the three Samsung screens, especially at large angles, not as good as the customized domestic screens. Oppo and Samsung have the best screen uniformity performance. No unevenness or large areas of unevenness in the curved screen. Domestic screens, especially Huawei, have obvious bright corners on both top and bottom sides with a brightness difference of over 10 nits. Oppo's performance is good and closer to Samsung's screen. Samsung excels in overall screen optimization, while it may not be a priority for others. On Z Fold 5, I don't mind creases, being flat or narrow, but prioritize brightness. Uniformity and power consumption are well done, so we see more domestic manufacturers actively cooperating with custom products in terms of resolution, brightness, and choosing to collaborate. The top performers in viewing angle and balance and cornering are Oppo's 30M3 and the 2D Magia M. Forty-five. We keep dismantling the six folding screens of the hinge chain, all of which use the water drop hinge technology, which is already mature. Various companies' press conferences no longer focus on it. They mainly discuss the use of new materials. After getting the six hinges, we refer to Xiaomi, Huawei, Oppo, and Bevo as standard water drop hinges, and Honor and Samsung as improved water drop hinges. So what is a hinge exactly? In simple terms, it is a lotus leaf. However, this lotus leaf is fragile, mainly comprising three parts. Springs provide pressure, camshafts convert rotation into pressure on the springs, creating folding resistance. Gears synchronize rotation of body sides. Principles of different brands are the same. Only arrangement and combination vary. Three short springs, plus towing axles, plus gear transmission, are Xiaomi. Diagonal design with three groups, six leaflets. Four long springs, plus towing axle, plus gear transmission. Huawei, three leaflets, each with an assistant. Coaches of Oppo and Ville, know where assistants and real core organization are. Configuration of springs and gears is clear to everyone, understanding how they are configured. After folding 300,000 times, the main camshaft will wear out, which will cause changes in the folding field. Therefore, we will use a macro lens to show you the wear and tear of various foot chains. Why is it said that Honor and Samsung are improved versions? Because they changed the transmission structure from gears to sliders, and they removed the keel and directly mounted the leaf on the axle cover, allowing more space for the screen. To support the screen, Honor also added a middle plate with a pipe support in this foot pad. Samsung's design emphasizes the hinge, with one side cylindrical and the other side flattened, supporting the screen when unfolded, showing a simple and rough beauty. Those who roughly understand can knock on it. Friends, 
Let's answer the controversy of whether Xiaomi copied Huawei together. We have carefully studied the hinge between Xiaomi and Huawei and the information officially released by Xiaomi. We found that the principle of the combined part of these two hinges is indeed the same. The main difference is in the part where the connecting door panel is. Xiaomi uses a three linkage structure, while Huawei and others use a two linkage structure. So Xiaomi's hinge is the only one that allows the door panel to move when folded, helping protect the water droplet. This difference cannot be concluded as plagiarism. However, it is not accurate to say that Xiaomi's keel hinge is just a renamed version of Huawei's hinge from a professional perspective. The principle is that there's no way to register, but there can be different methods. Besides this, we've also found many clever parts on other hinges. For instance, the hinge of Opifun's N3 is the latest. Calcium alloy made keel, fiberglass made door frame to reduce weight. It only used two lotus leaves and three degrees to achieve same screw function as other homes. Hinge of Matex 5 is very heavy because its door frame is made of two large pieces of wing aluminum. Main feature, withstand throws, troublemaking bloggers throw them off car at 10 km h without problems, including titanium alloy axle cover of Honor 3D printer, dragon bone of Xiaomi, etc. These are technologies major manufacturers kept in reserve. Only through disassembly of folding screen can we see them. Actually, this video can almost end here, but since we've already disassembled it, why not check out all the components inside the foldable screen? Who has better materials and more materials? For example, the battery, we found that the thinnest one is not from Honor, but from Xiaomi Mix Fold 3. However, the energy density of Qinghai Lake battery is indeed the main constraint on internal space. Only half of the six straight thunder screens have a telephoto lens, and Xiaomi is the only one with four rear cameras, including the double-layered crystal tube main camera at the bottom. Thus, the entire motherboard occupies almost half of the body. On heat dissipation, Honor, Vivo, and Xiaomi use large plates. Two are copper alloy, one is stainless steel. Four companies use X-axis vibration motor. All three use AAC Rui Sheng Technologies 0815. Samsung uses Telephoto Type 062. Main speaker suppliers are AAC or Gore Acoustics. We will annotate their models and sizes. This year, foldable screens reached third gen. Samsung released fifth gen. Durability is no worry. Even if you fold and unfold it 300,000 times, unlock it 10 times a day, using the inner screen each time, it will last for eight years. After folding, Oppo Find N3 has the best folding performance, and Samsung has the best hinge performance. Other brands, apart from film screen display, have no issues with normal opening and closing of the hinge. In reality, there is no perfect phone or folding screen. After watching the test and disassembly, if you still want to modify the folding screen, please leave a message. Okay, if you say, wow, so that's how it is, or that's it, we will be very satisfied. Let the hidden information in the finished product be conveyed to all interested viewers. This is the meaning of our in-depth content. If you are also satisfied, please support us by giving us coins and likes. This will be the motivation for us to create the next in-depth content. See you in the next video.